you need experience to get the job but you need the job to get experience now that's a loophole isn't it and this is where a lot of people get stuck as well but let's dive deeper into why entry level tech jobs seem to be disappearing so if you have recently graduated or are just starting your career in tech you might have noticed something troubling entry level tech jobs are getting harder and harder to find the tech boom that once promised a career path full of opportunities for fresh talent seems to be slowing down leaving many aspiring developers and engineers scratching their heads so what's really behind this shift so let's unpack the complex mix of factors shaping the tech job landscape today and why ai despite all the hype might not be the main culprit you think it is so one of the most common reactions to the current job crunch is well the tech market is in a tough spot right now and that's true the reality is that today's graduates often don't remember a world before the internet explosion coding has become so mainstream that it almost feels like everyone and their grandma is learning to code the supply of new tech talent is much higher than it used to be now pair that with a slowing economy when economic growth stalls or dips companies tighten their belts hiring freezes become common and entry level roles often the most flexible or expendable take the biggest hit many point to economic policy changes that aren't as visible but have a huge impact for example lending rules and tax codes that once favored startups have changed dramatically before startups could access near 0% loans and had favorable payroll tax treatments making it cheaper to start a new company or scale fast but those advantages are mostly gone this means startups face higher cost just to get off the ground which in turn means fewer entry level hires big tech companies feel it too hiring becomes more expensive so many are hitting pause on expanding their teams until the economic situation clears now ai is often blamed for tech layoffs but if you dig into it ai related job cuts are probably less than 1% of the total layoffs the reality is more nuanced ai might be influencing hiring freezes companies want to wait and see how ai develops before committing to new hires but many experts suggest that ai is siphoning investor money away from other areas of tech innovation slowing down overall job growth now interestingly some companies report ai tools are not making them more efficient yet a recent study claimed that adopting ai has actually made many companies less efficient at least in the short term as processes adjust meanwhile ai generated code can introduce more bugs requiring stricter reviews so ai is more a tool to augment than replace human developers at least for now now another frequently discussed topic is salary expectations many early career tech workers come with the mindset that they deserve six figure salaries right out of college unfortunately that's becoming unrealistic it's more advisable for new graduates to adjust their expectations and be ready to accept lower starting salaries somewhere around $80,000 per year instead of $150,000 or more starting at a more modest salary and proving yourself on the job can open jobs to higher pay later but aiming for a high salary on day 1 often leads to longer unemployment days the bar for what it means to be a junior developer is steadily rising employers expect much more from the entry level hires than they did a decade or two ago junior devs are often expected to be full stack capable with strong portfolios ready to contribute to complex projects from day 1 Some say this is partly due to AI. Juniors who rely heavily on AI to do basic work might not develop solid skills, making them riskier hires. So companies want juniors who show real passion and problem-solving ability beyond just leaning on AI tools. Now, while some economic factors like tax code changes are US specific, the ripple effects are felt globally. US tech giants set the tone, and smaller companies worldwide tend to follow their hiring trends. Layoffs and hiring freezes in the US increase the global supply of programmers which drives down wages and available entry roles everywhere. So what can entry level candidates do? Well they can adjust their expectations, be open to lower starting salaries and use the opportunity to build experience. They can build real skills, focus on strong fundamental and practical projects and not just AI assisted coding. They can stay patient. The market is cyclical, downturns don't last forever and they can consider different paths. basically mid-sized companies or industries outside traditional big tech might have more opportunities the decrease in entry level tech jobs is a multifaceted issue economic shifts lending and tax policy changes hiring freezes tied to ai uncertainty and changing expectations all play a role ai is part of the story but not the whole story it's more like a catalyst for change than an outright job killer right now for new tech workers 
adaptability, humility, and persistence will be key to navigating this evolving landscape. The tech industry has always been fast moving and full of surprises. While entry level jobs might be scarce today, the innovators and learners who stick with it will find new doors opening up in the years to come. If you found this video insightful, drop a like and subscribe for more.